Do you know, so many veterans continue to fight their own battles after their service. We want to bring in uh, Blake Hulsman this morning. Uh, we're talking about uh, gambling uh, addiction. And Blake, good morning to you. Good morning. Well, let's talk a little bit about this here because, you know, we hear so many times, you know, you've got to have support uh, for our men and women that come out of the service in a, in a, in a variety of ways, whether it's education, uh, jobs. But, you know, there's they're, they're sometimes a setback, too. Uh, and I, I honestly didn't really realize this, that gambling is a, a really a, a big deal for those that are, are coming out of service. It, it really is. Um, we're, we're starting to see that increase uh, with the general population even. And so, uh, you know, we take into consideration things like, uh, you know, people are going overseas. Um, veterans are starting to, you know, uh, learn how to play different games yeah. in different cultures. They're learning how to, um, how to kind of be in unity through things like playing games, gambling, betting, things like that. And you that. think at first it's a social thing, but then it can, it can t turn into a, a problem uh, for certain you know, personality types and whatnot. Or, uh, you know, in 2019, research report on Ohioans and gambling, I guess they found a, a growing trend of social, emotional, physical challenges related to the sport wagering? Uh, most, most definitely. It, it's, it's one of these things that we're starting to see impact a lot of different areas of life. Uh, mental health being a big one. So a lot of people associate veterans with uh, mental health issues like PTSD and depression, depression right. um, even things like suicide, unfortunately. And uh, gambling actually creates even more of a problem and sometimes is even a, an escape from things like PTSD and depression. And it is an escape for some. And I, I, I imagine, you know, some don't really seek treatment. I guess one in 10 individuals seek treatment for addiction orders. Is it because they don't think it's an addiction? They think it's something that they can, you know, kind of you know, toss aside and figure out on themselves? Most definitely. It, it could definitely be that um, either it's not an addiction because it's socially acceptable. Right. Um, unlike things like uh, opioids or, or any substance addiction, um, this is a little bit more acceptable. And, and on the other end of it, it it's more about, uh, you know, I, I've got this, it's fine. Yeah. Um, or, or even education, right? Education is lacking. We're not uh, helping people understand that there are risks involved in gambling and other addictive behaviors. Blake, we got to wrap it up, but where can we go to get in for more, uh, more information? Of course, as we honor veterans, but you know, uh, provide them some help on this Veterans Day as well. Most definitely. If you go to casinos, you can actually ask um, any of the employees there. They're, they have the information in order to help you. You can always call the gambling hotline in Ohio. It's 1-800-589-9966. Um, you can even call our agency, uh, the Center yeah. for Addiction Treatment. We offer treatment here. Blake, appreciate it. Have a good day. Most Thank definitely. You. you too.